Okay, um, here we're going to start a case using the Serdan's Pantolite Gross Imaging Camera. Um, I'm opening the VividPath software. Uh, I put in my username and my password. It opens up the software. And the VividPath software comes up showing me cases which I've previously saved um, and are on record. So, starting a new case, I simply say um, capture session. It asks me for an accession number. I've entered that using a barcode, a description, test, and I'll save that. Once I save it, the camera starts and I see the image in the window. Okay, the camera by default opens with a uh, normal zoom, so times one zoom, and by simply clicking on or touching the screen, I can move the zoom in. I zoom to the level I want to image, I acquire my image, I have it there, and I can then annotate it. So for example, with these tools, I might want to make a measurement, and I can measure uh, the image of my sample end to end, or I can measure it, for example, across. Once I have that, I can go back to the live image. It asks, do I want to save my annotations? I'll say yes. And it's now created the second image with the annotations. I'll zoom slightly further in and acquire again. Now, as you can see, it's autofocus, so the image is very clear. One more live image. Adjust the polarization filter to remove the glare. Zoom out slightly. Acquire an image. Okay, now to annotate, I can use things like my section tool to make mark where I might want to make cuts. As you can see, this is continuous. And my labeling tool. The label tool, whatever the default starting position is, for example, if I start with one, then it will go to two, three, four, etc. If I start with A1, then A2, A3, A4, etc. So very simple, very quick, very easy. Again, I'm going to go back to the live image save my annotations and have a look at the images I've got so far. So I've got the original, I've got the annotated original, I've got another original, a third original and an annotated image. I save the study and we're done. It's as simple as that.